What's up YouTube? This is Akila James. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, you see the flag, you see the spice aisle, and I will be coming to you with another video about the spice aisle. Grenada, Karku, and Pitimatnik. So this is going to be a Grenadian accent challenge, a Grenadian sayings challenge, whatever you may call it. Thank you so much for the returners. Thank you so much for the old timers. I want to tell you, my mom is from Antigua and Barbuda. My dad is from Grenada. Both of my parents are from the city, downtown, the heart of the heart. My mom is from St. John's. My dad is from St. George's. So let's jump into this video. I'm coming to you with music. I'm coming to you with flavor and I'm coming to you with sounds. By the way, I might be looking back and forth through my phone because that is where I have everything listed. Number one, Americans would say, girl, you're constipated. I can't even poop. You know, I just need to poop or I need to use the bathroom and I need to do a number two. Grenadians would say, girl, you cock. Hey, girl, you cock with. Hey, you full up. You cock, girl. So as you know, if you are cocked in Grenada, that mean you're constipated, eh? Don't be constipated. You must drink your beets. You mustn't be constipated. Good. Number two. People in America, they would say, oh girl, your butt is so whatever. It's big, it's small, it's whatever. People will call it a butt. People will call it a buttocks. People will call it a gluteus maximus. Green name, yeah? You cock a hole. Yes, I cock a hole. That what they just call it. And you hear your grandmother say, hey, look, she cock a hole. What? In America, you probably would be like, what? In Grenada, they just calling it so cock a hole. That why you call. That why you call. Number three. In America, you say poison ivy is biting you, right? If you go in the bushes in the summertime, you have poison ivy biting you. In Grenada, they will say, "Y'all don't go in the bush and make zuti bite you. Eh? Don't make zuti bite you." Eh? Don't play yourself and you have to not go and let Zuti bite you because it's a set of thing you have to do when Zuti bites you. So that is something Grenadians say. Zuti is equivalent to poison ivy. Number four, Americans would say, hey, this person feels like they know everything. They just feel super confident in knowing everything. Why is she acting like she know everything? So in Grenada, people would say, watch that ground dog with it. Watch it, watch it. Look at ground dog with it. And a dog is supposed to, when they're talking, so like you know how you have parrot, a dog goes, I know, I know. <laughs> The noise that dog make is, I know, I know. So that's what they call you and they tell you, watch that ground dog body. Don't let that ground dog pass you, eh? That's how they just talk. Number five, in America, you don't buy the hand that feed you, right? Let's say, for instance, I am in the mountains going for a hike. I'm styling on them. I have plenty jackets. I have jacket on here and I have jackets in my car. And somebody asks me for a jacket, right? And I tell them, yeah, take that jacket, take that nice something. I will give you that jacket. You give somebody a jacket, you say you have a jacket in the car, you realize you have a jacket in the car. Watch thing. That sounds crazy to you, right? It sounds crazy to me too. But in Grenada, you know what they will say? What the hell? You will give away your ass and shit through your ribs. How you will do that? You will tell the person you have a jacket in your car, you have a jacket in your car. You style, you style it. Come on. Man. Don't give away your thing and thing. When Americans say, don't tell me, don't talk to me, don't tell me nothing, don't tell me anything. Green Indians, watch pot telling skeleton bottom black. Watch they, watch it. Look pot, look spoon. That is Green Indians. Real animated, a lot, a lot of styling. Speaking about styling, let me take a quick intermission and let you listen to one of the most popular Green Indian artists, Beast. <laughs> So you know Grenadians like to talk double standard. Double standard is the last name I'm telling you. Number seven. Americans were saying, you finish, you done. Kaput, she's out of here. Green Indian, crap, will smoke your pipe with. That was she moving so you know crap or smoke she by she feels she too big. Go get barrel and playing she styling and sending barrel home. She not money in America, crap or smoke she pipe. Slightly Asian. But crap or smoke she pipe. Green alien. Real Mako, eh? Number eight. Mako nosy. I done do that one already. Mako me nosy. Mako nosy. You're too Mako, me girl. You're too Mako. And that one will forever be something. I cannot have a neighborhood or a place where people don't Mako in. 
People will want smack, Holly. Number eight on nine, I believe. Number nine. When I grenade and say, you're misbehaving, you know, when you're misbehaving, you mustn't misbehave. Look at your and all they mustn't misbehave. Okay, Americans will say, stop misbehaving, Kiki. I'm gonna put you in time on Grenadians. Why? They get a foot moving, so eh? Why? They will say, judge, come get your trial, eh? Why? Don't let me lash you between your see and your smell, you know why? Come from me, you know why? So you know what I see and I smell is? It's between your nose and your eyes. Don't let it cough you, okay? Don't want that kind of lash. That kind of lash is brutal, okay? And when a grenade and getting ready to slap you and cough you and lash you and all kind of thing, eh? Just make sure you're ready because grenade and I get us walk land, eh? And when it does walk the land, eh? walk in the land, eh? hand hard. Okay, don't let it tell you I tell you so. Number 10, I'm gonna give you an old time saying. These here, people call it your breasts, right? Women have breasts, man have breasts sometimes. <laughs> but Grenada call it tete. She playing big, look, she getting tete. She, she tete growing in. Now I wanna get into sayings. What are some sayings that we have heard in Grenada? And I'm sure you can hear it in other islands. Number one, you know when your mom wanna leave the house or your dad wanna leave the house and they don't want you to be crying. Or if they see you crying and they're trying to escape, you know your mother would tell you, go for my slipper and come back. Go for my slipper and come. By the time you go and get mommy slipper, mommy don't go on the road. You can't even hear mommy. Mommy didn't lead to the front door. No. Mommy didn't lead to the side door. No. Mommy lead to the window. Eh? So remember that. Anytime you hear mommy say, hey, Go find me something and come back. Mommy don't call me back at all. Now all you know, when your grandmother or your granny, when she do so, when she do your so, you know what is that? When mommy touch Kiki so, granny blessing me with something. So when no mommy can't pay the bill now, and mommy say, hey, Kiki, go for the money what granny give you there, and I'll give you back next week. Mommy ain't giving you back no money next week, you know? Remember that? Anytime mommy say she giving you back money, nobody don't call me back in your bank account. It's me what tell you that. Let me tell you the next thing. What are they telling you? Mr. Man, what are you crying for? You just know you do something wrong in school. Mr. Man, what are you crying for? What do you have to tell yourself? Brace yourself, eh? When they tell you go and get a switch, or get a shoes, or get something, don't play against small thing. You know? Don't play against small thing. It's big, big thing you have to get it. Me too. What? Get a proper slippers and hold that. Don't be rude to teach her. Tell her that already. You're playing big. What's another saying that you hear all the time? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Eh? Or you should clean on your house because cleanliness is next to godliness. And you can't tell no Grenadian they ain't no Bible, you know. I'll, <laughs> listen, I find Grenadians, they know Bible. And they don't go in the church, they know Bible. So keep your place clean, eh? Keep your place clean. And next thing they say, old times say, they say it's not good to put your hand on somebody's shoulder because you'll take away their knowledge. They are want the Bible, they know. And look what they say. No, man. Girl, don't put, don't put your hand on their shoulder. Eh? So that is another saying you hear growing up. Even care good for your eyes. Yeah, sometimes parents. Parents used to tell us, carrot good for your eye. And your child would say, Mommy, how carrot will go for my eye and I never see rabbit with glasses? Don't play so, you know, because I'll give you a slap. You talking back? Don't talk back now. What about this one? Warren, I know you're a good boy. You're playing hard now. You're playing your game big. Warren, I want to tell you something. As you're going in secondary school, I want to tell you. Friends bring you go, but they don't bring you back, you know. Friends bring you go, but they don't bring you back. All parents say that. The amount of time I hear parents say that. I'm tired of hearing that. I don't follow it now. How much times your mother tell you that is your auntie so and so and that is not your sister? Eh? I know it's a form of respect, but man, cause she miss her mother, no? This is your auntie, Kalisa. This is your uncle, Patrick. That man don't have nothing to do with all your family, you know? But that is your uncle, Patrick. And when you see him in the road, you better call him uncle, Patrick, you know? Because we don't take in disrespect. What about this one? I don't want your friend on them, you know? I don't want your friend on them. Don't play me, play lotto. I don't want your friend on them. That my father does see, but. But then you add me on Facebook. Why are you adding me on Facebook, mommy? You're not my friend? Why I tell you Grenada and something else? How about this one? If you kiss a boy, you'll get pregnant. Don't kiss boys, you'll get pregnant one time. If you kiss a boy, all your finger fall out. If you point at the cemetery, all your finger fall out. What about that one, Lee? Eh? Don't walk over people you wouldn't grow. 
It will stunt your growth. If you walk over people, it will stunt your growth. How much have people you walk over when you when you're living? One thing I wanna tell you, Grenadians have the best scenes. And I would say you learn so many things from them, good and bad, happy, sad. I wouldn't choose to be from another culture because they teach you so many things to go out into the fields and it prepares your heart. If anything else, it prepares your heart to go out and conquer. So Grenade actually born, eh? Spice mass, eh? Spice aisle to the bone. Let me cut out this video with a jab. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more videos and more sayings, please tell me what you want to hear. Bye.